What's up guys, my name is Liam and today we're going to be talking about the Razer Atlas Glass Gaming Mouse Pad. I'm going to be comparing this to a bunch of pads, soft pads that are faster and slower, hard pads that are faster and slower. So I'm going to let you guys know if you're already coming from a glass pad or if you're looking to try out a glass pad for the first time, whether or not this is going to be the perfect mouse pad for you. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, and here we have the Razer Atlas Tempered Glass Gaming Mouse Pad. This has been a pretty unique experience from other glass pads that I've tried out there on the market. So it's really cool to see Razer try and do something different and unique with this mouse pad. So jumping into the build of the mouse pad, when it comes to the base, it does have this rubberized base. And I must say that I don't have any complaints about the base. I like how it covers corner to corner. You don't have any problems with it flexing too much or moving around on you. Once it is seated in place, it does sit pretty firmly on your desk. It is pretty easy to adjust on your desk when you need to make slight movements to it, but aside from that, once you get it in place, you're not gonna have any issues with it. This pad is 400 millimeters in height, and 450 millimeters in width and five millimeters in thickness. When it comes to the thickness and the corners, this pad does have bevel edges. I do feel like the edges, even though they are beveled, I do feel like they're kind of pronounced and a little pointier, I would say, than the other offerings out there on the market. This may not be an issue for most of you as there's been a lot of people that have reviewed this pad and nobody has noticed any issues with it. I was testing the Super Glide before I started using this and when I tested the Super Glide, I didn't notice any issues at all, but for some reason, whatever reason, when I switched over this pad and I was using this all day long, I was using it for gaming sessions, editing videos, I did start to get a cramp in my forearm. And I would say for me personally, I do have pretty big forearms. I would say probably bigger than average. So maybe not so much an issue that you would have, but just something I did want to bring up. I did notice a little bit of discomfort when using this over long hours of time. Again, just on my forearm right here. All right, and then next up when it comes to the surface. So just as similar to using other glass mouse pads on the market, the surface of this mouse pad feels incredibly smooth. And there is a slight bit of a difference in the overall texture of this glass mouse pad versus the Pulsar Super Glide. The Super Glide does feel like it just slightly has a little bit more of a textured surface, whereas the texture on the surface of the Razer Atlas just feels a little smoother and a little more flat. And when creating this mouse pad, Razer coated the surface of this mouse pad with an oleophobic coating. The coating is supposed to help out with the oils on your skin, and it does add a bit of different characteristics to the overall performance of this mouse pad. Though I have found the surface of this pad is very smooth smooth, it can be a bit sticky at times. I personally am mostly a wrist aimer, but when I am sliding my forearm across the pad, I do feel that there's a benefit to using a sleeve when using it. Razer has put their logo on the top right corner of the pad up here, and it does stick out above the pad. It's not underneath it, but I did want to mention to you guys that you do notice it when you rub your skates over it, if you guys were to go up in the top corner of your mouse pad quite often. So when it comes to comparing the surface of the Razer Atlas versus the Pulsar Super Glide, I do feel like the surface is a bit quieter on the Razer Atlas. However, I feel like overall, the audible sound is a bit scratchier than on the Pulsar Super Glide. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So hopefully if you could tell from that test, again, the Atlas is slightly a bit quieter than the Pulsar Super Glide. However, by no means is this a quiet pad in any way, shape or form. I do feel like you guys should be aware, depending on the skates that you use, you can have different audible differences between these two pads. And with the scratchier characteristics of the Razer Atlas, I do feel like you get a bit more control using the Razer Atlas as opposed to using something like the Super Glide. So let's drop a speed test really quick between these two pads.
When it comes to the Super Glide, everything about the build of this pad, I feel like it's better than the Razor Atlas. The size of the Super Glide, the base of the Super Glide, corners of the Super Glide, the overall feeling of the Super Glide is just overall better than the Razor Atlas. I've been A and B testing these mouse pads for quite some time, and a couple of things I'd like to bring up to is what I did notice is actually just this past weekend, we had an extremely humid weekend. I did find that my skin was sticking more to the Razor Atlas as opposed to the Pulsar Super Glide. On that very humid day, I did kind of notice it slightly slightly impacting the surface of the pad. And also I do want to say that when it comes to like dust or anything getting on top of these pads, I feel like it is more noticeable on the Razor Atlas as opposed to the Pulsar Super Glide. I do feel like when I'm using the Razor Atlas, I'm constantly having to clean it off more or wipe it down, you know, in between games even sometimes, whereas that isn't necessarily so much of an issue on the Super Glide. I did find that I prefer the Super Glide in most scenarios. When it comes to browsing my desktop or doing any type of work, like editing videos or anything like that, I do tend to lean towards the Super Glide. And another area where I tended to lean towards the Super Glide is if I was playing games like Starcraft, Diablo, anything like that, I did tend to prefer this pad. And where I did find the Atlas to have a slight advantage over the Super Glide is when you're playing first person shooting games. One thing I did notice when I first started comparing the Atlas to the Super Glide, it is a little bit addicting, just the, the slight bit of control that you do get. When I do use the Super Glide, I do have to come down to my DPI quite a bit. Actually, I do have to decrease it more than I do when I'm using the Atlas. But I would say if you guys have used the glass mouse pad in the past and you do like the speed of it and you do wish that you had just a slight bit more control then the atlas would definitely be worth you checking out so if you have tried glass mouse pads out in the past and you feel like they were just way too fast and they weren't going to work out for you i do not believe that this is enough to warrant you in switching over to glass mouse pad but i will say if you are using a glass mouse pad you, you love it you like the speed of it you're pretty adjusted to it but you wish you had just a bit more of a control then this would probably be a better option for you i feel like this glass mouse pad which is about every other glass mouse pad out there that there's not a whole lot of a difference whether you're going to be using big skates or even if you were to be using smaller skates i would say personally for me the biggest advantage when it comes to using a glass mouse pad versus the different types of mice that are on the market the lighter that a mouse is that the better that it performs on a glass mouse pad. Since these pads are so fast and they hardly have any initial friction, the lighter that your mouse is, I feel like the easier it is to control. For those of you that have used a glass infusion mouse pad like the Artisan Shinden Kai, Artisan pad has far less stopping power as compared to the Razer Atlas and it feels a lot faster. So let's drop a glide test. So as you can see there, the Razer Atlas has more stopping power and it has a more controlled glide versus the Artisan Shinning Kai in mid. All right, and next up, I'd like to bring out the Artisan FX Raiden in mid. I have the Raiden in both the XSoft and in the mid version, and the mid version is clearly faster than the XSoft. And the reason I wanted to break out the Raiden in mid is because I feel like this is one of the fastest cloth mouse pads on the market. And if you've had any experience with the Artisan Raiden, it's an incredibly smooth and fast surface. So let's drop a speed test between the Artisan FX Raiden in mid versus the Razer Atlas. So as you guys can see there, using the Raiden in mid, if this has been a type of a pad that you've tried and you found this to be too fast for you or not having enough control, then I can assure you a glass mouse pad like the Razer Atlas, even though this glass mouse pad has more control than the other glass mouse pad out there, as you can see, it's still much faster than the Raiden and it doesn't have nearly the amount of control that the Raiden does. All right, and then the final example that I would like to bring out is the TJ Exclusives Serapad. So if you're unaware of the Serapad, I'm gonna be dropping a full review on this pad in the near future, but the reason that I wanted to bring this pad out is because if you're looking for a hard speed pad, but you want to get more control, the Serapad is absolutely going to be the answer for you. So let's go ahead and drop a glide test between the TJ Exclusive Serapad and the Razer Atlas. So as you can clearly see there with the Atlas, even though you do get a bit more control than other glass mouse pads, it's still gonna have that super fast and almost floaty feeling on it. So the TJ Exclusive Serapad is still classified as a speed pad, but you do get far greater control and stopping power with the TJ Exclusive Serapad over the Razer Atlas. All right guys, so that wraps things up on my overall comparisons with the Razer Atlas. And I wanna say that overall, I do really enjoy this glass mouse pad. One of the major benefits that comes to this glass mouse pad, if you are living in North America, is that Best Buy is starting to hold stock of these pads and you can actually pick them up in some stores. So whether you have or haven't tried out a glass mouse pad before, and it's something that you're interested in checking out this pad, it is pretty readily available. When I did start to get used to this and get adjusted to it, I felt like it performed great. And if any of the factors that I brought up about this today don't appear 
to be an issue to you, then I can absolutely say I would recommend checking this out. All right, guys, so if you have any questions or you feel like there's anything I left out, please let me know down in the comments below. I went ahead and I left links down in the description below if you're looking at checking out any of these products and supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.